Mary and I talk more. more. And I was like, what the heck I gotta do to be with you? What the heck I gotta do? What the heck I gotta do to be with you? What the heck I gotta do? Tell me who I gotta be for you to be with me. You told her all this in class? Oh yeah. I texted her, you know. I was like, what the heck I gotta do to be with you? Hello, 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 hello. What the heck I gotta do to be with you? R-O-F-L-O-L. Tell me who I gotta be for you to be with me. Smiley face. Yes! Next thing you know, we're texting. To see who I really am. So look. <laughs> the bad is that, you know, I died once a day. I died yeah. 16 times a week. Wow. You had a beautiful long mane during the production of Hamilton. Give me the good and the bad of cutting your long hair. Uh, the good was that uh, I got my first good role in the big motion picture. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. But the bad was they were like, yes, yeah, so you're going to have to cut your hair. And then they made me wear a helmet the whole time. <gasps> OK, staying on a hair trip. The good and the bad of having a goatee. The good is that people think I'm an adult, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the bad is you're a guy with a goatee. Oh my gosh, the bad is I'm a guy with a goatee. That's the bad. You are engaged to your Hamilton co-star, Jasmine Cephas Jones. Yes. What is the good and the bad of dating someone you work with? The good is that we're on the same schedule. All yes, the time. So we're sure. having breakfast together, mm -hmm. lunch together, dinner together, so that's very nice. I the think... bad is you're on the same schedule. <laughs> the bad. You're having breakfast together, <laughs> lunch together. <laughs> That was some shenanigans, some subterfuge, straight skullduggery. Nah, it's my government. My mom, she named me Mars because she said I'm out of this universe, all right? When I was in Hamilton, I laughed through like two numbers. I was laughing on stage. I had just gotten a new wig and none of the cast knew I was gonna have this wig. I kind of took everyone by surprise. Let's just say I wasn't the only one on stage cracking up. The stage manager came in the wing. Literally, she came out of the shadows and was like, get it together. And I was like, yo. You tricked me. <laughs> uh, we don't know, but she's picking this whatever she wants. Oh my Mommy. God! I'm gonna Surprise. kick your butt. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta spoil my, now I gotta spoil my moment. <laughs> Yo, we got a good. We got a real good. 
very Ooh. surprised. She was crying. <laughs> she never cries. She cries sometimes. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Oh, yeah. I may not live to see our glory. Alex Number, there's a letter for you. It's from John Lawrence. I'll read it later. But I will gladly join the fight. No, it's from his father. His father? And when our children tell our story, will you read it for me? They'll tell the story of tonight. On Tuesday, the 27th, my son was killed in a gunfight against British troops retreating from South Carolina. The war was already over. As you know, John dreamed of emancipating and recruiting 3,000 men for the first all-black military regiment. His dream of freedom for these men dies with him. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. Alexander, are you all right? Are you upset? <laughs> Good thing you're with family, Chef. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Was not expecting this. Cheers, baby. <laughs>